Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to change the colors of these buttons up here. We see we're hovered in green, so maybe we want to make this a blue color, kind of like this black back here. So what we'll do is we'll right click in our Google Chrome browser, inspect element, right away we see the colors. So if we want to see these in different colors, uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll grab the names of these colors. I'm just going to double click it and then click Control C on my keyboard. I'm going to bring up my, my notepad right here. I'm just going to paste that color in there because I know that's the color that I want. And then the other color of green I see down here, I'm going to want to change this. this notice this is a hover color. So I'm going to copy this. I'm also going to copy this to my notepad. And I'm going to call this the background color menu buttons. And then I'll call this the, the hover color. Okay, just like that. So then I'll have them. Now, what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my dashboard over appearance and hit editor. All right, now I can ha use the custom CSS if I had it over here, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to go down to the style sheet. Okay, and you'll notice that the style sheet is the, the first one that comes up. Now, I know that the background color is this green color, right? So I'm going to highlight this hit control C and I'm going to hit control F on my Google Chrome. I'm going to paste it up there and I see that it's on this page 17 times. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit control A and I'm going to copy the entire style sheet. Okay. I'm going to copy that entire style sheet. I'm going to bring up another notepad. I'm just going to paste it in there just in case anything goes wrong so I have a backup. I'm going to put that on my desktop. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my notepad plus plus Alright, and I am going to paste that entire thing in there. This is going to help me with my find and replace. Okay, so I know now that, you know, I have this background, this, this green here, but now I want to go and uh, change that color. So I have a little thing that I use. It's called, um, oh, the cool website stuff. Boom, boom, boom. Let me go to CSS colors, just like that. Okay, so there's a color picker down here. Alright, so I can pick up any one of these colors, so I want a blue color. Do you like this color? The blue? Okay, so I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to copy that. And so I'm going to go back to my notepad, uh, plus plus, and I'll try to make it bigger for you here. Alright, and uh, what I want to do now is I'm going to keep some notes here. My background was this color, and so now I want to make them all this color, right? So I'm going to highlight this, this first section here, hit Control C. I'm going to go to my Notepad++, plus plus. I'm going to scroll all the way to the top, click my mouse in there, hit Control F, I'm going to paste that color in there, and then I'm going to hit this little tab thing for replacing, and anything that that's color, I want to replace with this color here, this blue color. So I'm going to hit Copy, alright, paste like that, and I'm just going to hit Replace All. It's going to replace all 17 occurrences were replaced. Okay, so now what about that hover color? Well, so now I'll go back to my uh, notepad, and we know that this is that lighter green color, and so maybe we want a uh, darker blue color. So I'm going to, or maybe a lighter blue color. You like that color there? Okay. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to keep track of my notes here. Um, so this is what the color was, that's what I'm changing it to, this is what the color was. So I'm going to highlight this right here, click copy, I'm going to bring my notepad++ over again. Okay, right away I'm at the top, I'm going to hit control F, and I want to find that, but I want to replace it with the new color. So here's my new color right here, okay, control C, and there's, I'm paste my new color in right there, hit replace all. Notice there's 31 occurrences where it was replaced. 
Okay, so now remember I have a backup of this on another notepad. So if anything goes wrong, I'm, I'm going to be safe. So I'm going to go back to, to my edit themes, you know, style sheets under appearance, editor, and then style sheet. If you can't find it, it's usually clear on the bottom right here. Okay, so I'm going to hit control A, and I'm going to paste everything in there that I just did. I hit update file, just like that. I'll go back to the website and see what was green. And then I'm going to hit refresh, and now I'm getting that blue color that I want. Okay? Now, and that's the hover. So uh, let me click on one of these. Now we see we still get the, the green showing up for the letters. So that must be uh, a different color of green. So what we'll do is we'll inspect that element. Okay? And here we go. Here's the culprit right here, this color. All right? So we'll hit. Control C, copy that color, and uh, go like this for the original color, and call text color like that. And let's go pick a color, maybe a real, real light blue for something like this. What do you think? Something like that? It's for text? Yes, for text. Oh, okay. Like, Okay, so we hit Control C like that, and uh, we'll come over to our notepad and make us a note there. So knowing that we're going to change those colors, so I'll bring my uh, my Notepad Plus Plus back up, and I'm going to find all this green color here. Control C, and I'm hit Control F, and I'll paste it here, and then I'm going to replace it with my new color, which is this code here. Control C. Okay. And I'll paste that in there, and then I'll hit replace all once again. And notice there was four occurrences where it was replaced. And I'm going to hit Control A. I'm going to copy this whole style sheet once again. Go back to my themes. Hit Control A. Control V is in Victor. Paste it in there. And click update the file. Okay. Then I'm going to go back to my website. And I'm going to see if that those green colors change. So now we have that blue color there. So for whenever somebody's on the active page, and that's how you change the colors for your uh, buttons and your hover. So there you go.